amazing. Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing like another story time, basically a part two to the video I just did. Not exactly a part two, what sort of is. So, you guys know I'm coming with some teeth out in my experience. But since I got them out, that Tuesday when I told you that I was um, sick and I wasn't feeling good, well, what happened is I kept getting sick. So I was sick still for like Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. For four days I was sick. Okay, so it would have been four days since I, um, besides the Tuesday, since the Tuesday, so that I was sick. And then the Saturday, I was still sick. Now I wasn't eating anything, wasn't been able to do anything. I was lying in my bed, literally just lying in my bed, sleeping. That's literally all I've been doing. Lying in my bed, sleeping. So, and then the sad Sunday, I got even worse. And I was like on the toilet. And like I've been throwing up too. And I was on the toilet and I had diarrhea. Sorry, TMI. But I had diarrhea. And, um... Actually, I don't think I had the diarrhea that time. I was just on going to the bathroom. And then I sort of like blacked out, like fainted. Not, like I didn't fall to the ground or anything. Like, you know, when you just sort of like, can't really see properly and stuff. Well, I had that. And like I couldn't really, my mom was standing there. She was trying to help me, but I'm like, I can't see. Because like I was getting up to go brush my teeth, and my mom told me to brush my teeth, and then I couldn't do it. So I'm like, I can't do that, I can't do that. And then I couldn't see anything, and I really couldn't like balance. And then I sat on the toilet, and I was starting to fall, but my mom called me. And um, yeah, so then. My dad called the ambulance, or called 911, and told them what happened, and then the ambulance came to get me. I didn't have to go on like one of those stretcher things or anything, I just sat in like a seat in the back. And then they took me to the hospital, and it wasn't like an emergency emergency, except like, you know guys, I was just sick. So, then I went in, and they got me in with a wheelchair, because I could barely walk, I was very weak. So, they got me in with a wheelchair, I sat there for a little bit, they took my temperature, took my blood pressure and I put this thing on my finger and um, yeah, I just sat there and waited and then they took me into the little room emergency room I guess you could call it waiting room and I waited there and then waited for a long time there and I really wasn't going to have to be rushed to the um, bathroom a couple of times I'm not to rush me to the bathroom in my wheelchair because it's hard for me to walk and I had diarrhea and I was like not really throwing up because I had nothing in me to throw up but, like I felt like I wanted to I don't know what it's called but like when you feel like you want to throw up but you have nothing in you so that's what I was doing and I was having diarrhea and it just was horrible and I was like not feeling good at all. Like I was literally like so horrible. Like I had nothing. And then I waited and then we went into the hall because they called my name and we go into the hall and we waited more. And then I was there and I got out of my wheelchair and went into like a normal chair. And I sat there and I had blankets too because the ambulance people, they got me a blanket. And I had a blanket that had dropped around me because it was freezing in the hospital. I was just sitting there waiting and then I had a little nap because I was really tired and I haven't like I didn't throw up or have diarrhea for a while there so that was great that was good and I just sat there for a little bit and then finally after like I don't even know like five six seven five to like eight hours I don't know in between there it took they finally called me and we went into the room a little room and we sat there for a little bit waited the people came and Oh yeah, they came and they talked and we talked to them and we told them what happened, what was wrong with me. Basically my mom told because I was a little bit out of it. Not really out of it, but you know, I was just sick. And a blood test. And they took a blood test on me. And then, so yeah, I got a blood test and, and I had to take a pee sample, a urine sample. So I did that because I thought they didn't, they, my doctor and my mom thought I didn't have any pee in me to do it. But um, I tried and I did. So we took those and then they took those away and went to go examine them. Then they took the pee sample and the um, blood sample to examine, it, to examine it. Anyway, so then they took that and then we waited in the room a little bit longer and then they called me, I think, yeah, they called me and they took an IV and then I had to go into the hall and they took an IV. They took me into the hall and I got an IV in my arm, in this arm. And if you guys have never had an IV before, it's basically where you get like a needle in you and it's basically to like feed you if you're dehydrated because they thought I was dehydrated. So they thought that was the problem. And they didn't think the wisdom needs had anything to do with it. But I just want to do because before I was sick, 
I mean, before I got my wisdom teeth out, I wasn't sick. I was perfectly fine, normal, everything. And then I got them out, and all of a sudden I was sick. So I think it has something to do with it, but the doctor and my mom both think it has nothing to do with my wisdom teeth. So yeah, anyway. So then I got an IV, I sat in the hall for or a little bit, in the hallway outside of where the room was. And I just waited there for a little bit. I was like freezing. Well, I don't know if I was freezing or not because I was just like shaking so much. And once I got the IV in and I asked my mom, I'm like, I'm shaking. She's like, are you cold? I'm like, I don't know. Like, I literally just didn't know. Like, I had no idea if I was cold. Because I was cold, but I wasn't like as cold as I was like seeming to be because I was shaking so much. And then the doctor came. And my mom went over to the doctor and asked, is it, is it okay if she's shaking? Is it normal? And the doctor said yes. So then he, she said, she, she, she can be cold. So then she went and got me like a warm blanket because there's like this like place, I don't really know, that have like, they have warm blankets, like really warm, that just came out of like the dryer and they're so nice. So she got me one, wrapped it around me and it felt amazing. And then just a little bit, they came and took my blood pressure. And then after that, they was like stupid and then they called and then I was allowed to go back in the room. Like why would they put me in the hallway and then like, Two minutes or three minutes later, they didn't say I can go back into the room. Anyway, just so we went back into the room, and we waited there for a little bit longer. We were trying to like rest because it was like really late, and we we're trying to sleep. But I was not tired. I don't know why. I just wasn't. My mom was sort of tired, but I was like getting a little more energy and stuff, so I wanted to talk to her. I felt bad, but I just I don't know. She didn't really seem like she was gonna go to bed anyway, go to sleep anyway. So. And then the do another doctor came in and they gave me like these like stickers things to do my to do my heart like a heart thing I don't know and then they had all these cords that they hooked up to the stickers and they did something with that I don't really know what that was but then they did that and then we just rested sat in the room and waited I think the doctor came back in told um took my IV out because it was done actually no I got another bag I got two bags IV bags and then they said okay you, so here's your options. You can either stay here overnight and um, see if you're better in the morning, or you can go home. And I'm like, I want to go home. Because who wants to stay at the hospital? It was not comfortable. I was, It was freezing in the hospital. I just wasn't feeling it. So, we went out. So, then I said, I want to go home. And my mom was happy I said that because she really wanted to go home too. She had to work the next day anyway. So, she really just wanted to go home and sleep because it was very hard to sleep in the hospital. So, yeah. So then, because I didn't even get like one of those regular beds. It was just like a little chair thing in that room. Like, you know those regular beds you usually get in the hospital when you're like getting surgery or you're really sick? Well, I didn't get one of those. I got like this like chair thing that laid down, but it still wasn't even that comfy. Anyway, so then we went home and yeah, that's basically it. And now I'm starting to feel better. I'm not still perfect yet, but I'm feeling better. And I have this weird taste in my mouth that will not go away for some reason. I'm able to eat still not like i don't have my normal appetite i guess you could say so yeah so i'm really starting i feel like tomorrow or the next day i'll feel perfect so yeah that's basically the story give this video a thumbs up if you guys enjoyed it comment down below if you have any story relating to this if you've ever been dehydrated ever had to go to the hospital for being sick and or if you ever had an iv before just comment that down below i want to hear you guys' stories and um yeah subscribe to come to the squad bye dressers